Hi, I'm Dana Woodson and welcome to Avenue Update. September 30th, 2016 has a name that will forever be engraved in Portsmouth history as the city of Portsmouth celebrated it in grand style as LaShawn Merritt Day. LaShawn Merritt is known around the globe as a world-class athlete in the sport of track and field with his most recent victories happening in the form of two new Olympic medals that he won during the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. Well, the City of Portsmouth and Portsmouth Public Schools teamed up to recognize LaShawn's impressive results on the track, which started here in Portsmouth at Woodrow Wilson High School, the location of where LaShawn Merritt Day 2016 kicked off. LaShawn Merritt, come on in. Welcome to Woodrow Wilson High School. It's such an exciting moment here on our campus. At this time, we're going to ask you to please stand to receive the Army Junior ROTC from Woodrow Wilson High School for the presentation of colors and the pledge to the flag. There are hundreds of schools in the United States named Woodrow Wilson. There are elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools, all with this great name. We pause today to recognize LaShawn Merritt of Woodrow Wilson High School in Portsmouth, Virginia. <laughs> Public recognition is an important part of achievement it is given in many ways, from a verbal, good job, a plaque, or even a trophy. When an individual achieves the many accomplishments, such as what Deshaun Merritt has done, the recognition deserves a more public display of appreciation. We pause today to recognize Deshaun Merritt for his outstanding athletic performance beginning with his efforts here on the campus of Woodrow Wilson High School in Portsmouth, Virginia. LaShawn, you have brought fame and recognition to our school around the world. It feels good when we hear them say, out of Woodrow Wilson High School in Portsmouth, Virginia, LaShawn married. <laughs> We thank everyone for coming to witness this great event that will be recorded in the history of our school. We are thankful for the past leadership that laid the foundation while LaShawn was here. His former administrator and former principal, Ms. Rosa Marie Wells Garris, former athletic director who's here, Mr. Jackie Kennedy, and his lovely wife, Ms. Margaret Kennedy, who was your former social studies teacher. Wait. 
Is this what else Gary is in the house? Okay. We say today, out of Portsmouth, Virginia, from one of the best high schools in the United States, which received the Bronze Award in 2015 and 2016 from the U.S. News and World Report, we are proud to be the home of LaShawn Merritt, a 2004 graduate of Woodrow Wilson High School. It's my pleasure to introduce the chairman of the Portsmouth City School Board, Mr. Claude C. Parent, to bring us welcome, the welcoming statement. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Team Merritt, and special guest on behalf of the Portsmouth School Board, and as chairman of the school board, I am honored to be a participant at today's unveiling ceremony recognizing a Portsmouth graduate who continues to bring honorable recognition to himself, to his family, to his alma mater, to his school division, and to our city. We are delighted that you have joined us here at Woodrow Wilson for the unveiling of the LaShawn Merritt Wall. As a Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson student athlete, as an East Carolina University running star, and as an Olympian, LaShawn Merritt has distinguished himself. The printed program details the many honors and awards that he has earned. Thank you for your presence this afternoon. It helps us as we pause for this special tribute to our des deserving honoree. There are many outstanding and talented people in our country, but we in Portsmouth are fortunate to have our very own. We're grateful for this opportunity to salute LaShawn for his hard work and for his dedication, making it possible this afternoon for us to come together for the good of Portsmouth. Congratulations and welcome to this ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Perrin. All of you are important in the life of LaShawn Merrick, but we do have a couple of people we would like to introduce. It's our pleasure to introduce, we ask them to please stand, um, our mayor, Mayor Kenny I. Wright, the mayor of the city of Portsmouth. <laughs> our vice mayor is here, Ms. Elizabeth Simmons, the vice mayor. <laughs> also we have our city manager, Dr. Patton. Dr. Patton, if you would please stand. I don't see any other city council members. If you are, please stand just in case. Great. We have uh, from the Portsmouth City School Board, we've already heard from our chair. We have our vice chair is here, Mrs. Costello Williams. Ms. Williams is on the program. Also, we have Reverend Fleming from our Portsmouth City School Board. If you would please stand. It's our pleasure, as always, to present to you our division superintendent, Dr. Eli Bracey III. Dr. Bracey. And if there are other members from the superintendent's leadership cabinet, just in case, thank you. Also, we have uh, people from the Department of Curriculum and Instruction. They are here. If you all would stand, wave your hands. They are throughout. I see them here. A couple of people. Thank you all for coming. We have uh, members from the Merritt family. We have the father, um, Mr. Owen Merritt, uh, right here. Mother, Mother Ms. Brenda Merritt. Who, by the way, is on the Woodrow Wilson staff. We have grandmother. Grandmother is here. Sister. Nieces, nephew, and the whole team marriage. If you are the team, thank you. Thank you for all of the support. Thank you for coming. Oh, it's my, my pleasure to introduce Mr. Vincent Pugh. He's the citywide athletic director here for the city of Portsmouth. Good afternoon, family and friends. I'm here to provide a historical perspective on such a joyous occasion. Right. 
LaShawn Merrick, who we all know is a native of Portsmouth, Virginia, he has made his name a name for himself in track and field. So you guys know I've been a track and field coach for almost 30 years, so I'm going to take it to the track perspective. All right. LaShawn didn't just uh, come onto the scene. He exploded onto the scene in track and field. He did something that pretty much no one else in the state of Virginia had ever done. You know, that is, come out junior year, win the state, and then the next year he won six state titles. So give him a hand for that. All within a span of 12 months. So it leads you to wonder, where was he? Right? So his coaches are gonna come up after I speak. We have Mr. Roscoe Coles, give him a hand. Mr. Brian Bynum, and Mr. Walt Green. Also, when he left with Joe Wilson, he got extremely busy. You know, you got Junior Nationals, which is 19 and under. He won the four, the two, and he won both relays, and he set the record in the individual event right out of high school. Right? Then he went to East Carolina. Great move. Coach Carson, you know, God rest his soul. Great guy. Everybody was saying, but Sean, freshman year at East Carolina, you ranked number one in the NCAA. Number one out of everybody. So people back home, you may not, you may not know this, Sean, we were like, man, you should just go pro. I don't know what he's thinking about. <laughs> You never know, you might get injured. You never know what could happen. So, guess what happened? Before the NCAA indoor tournament, he turned pro. So he never ran an NCAA championship. Right? Now, a few years after that, <laughs> now he's challenging the number one 400 meter uh, runner in the world, Jeremy Warner, for the 400 meter title in 2008, three years later, he's on top of the world. Yeah. Now, how many people can say that you're the best in the world at what you do? How many people can say that? Think about this. This is what LaShawn Merrick can say. Seven state titles. Six USA championships. Now, I found out earlier that I left off the indoor nationals, uh, the outdoor nationals, so he has won close to 10 USA national titles. And some of you may not know this, but the Olympics is every four years. But in the odd years, they have what we call the world championships. LaShawn is an eight-time world champion. And what everybody remembers, he is a three-time gold medalist at the Olympics. Give him a hand. Next up, you're going to hear from his coaches. You're going to hear how it all began here at Wilson High School and what they had to do to get this young man to run. <laughs> Next up, Mr. Roscoe Coles. Say good evening. I want you to know that first, success is a journey, not a destination. And Deshaun has proven that. I'd like to tell you a couple of stories about Deshaun. 10th grade, 11th grade, LaShawn was in the band. So he had crossroads to determine what he wanted to do, whether he wanted to play football, run track, or march in the band. You remember that? <laughs> and of course, the decision was to run track and to play football. Believe it or not, he was a great football player too. So he did a great job. We would open up almost every offensive series throwing uh, a fly to Deshaun. Nobody could catch him. 
So it almost automatic touchdown. That's how we opened up most of the game. But nevertheless, that, it didn't matter. LaShawn was one of those kids who wanted to be the best at whatever he did, which is what he done. Everywhere he's been, everything he's done, he's been the best. Probably the most important thing about LaShawn is that he never knew how fast he could run. He was one of those kids, believe it or not, that could run as fast as he wanted to run, which is very evident by his accomplishments, what he's done day in, day out, across the world, all over the country, he, he could run. You never seen anyone come back, and you never seen LaShawn lose to someone in front of him. The only time he ever lost to me is when somebody snuck up on him. Because then, like I said, if he was in front of you, he's going to get you. Just that simple. Um, that's pretty much first kid, and there's not many kids, period, that can do what he did. A triple in the state, 100, 200, and 400. The 400 in itself is a beast. They call that the man's race. If you can run a 400 and stand up and run a two and a one, you're twice the man of most men. So that in itself says a lot about his stamina, says a lot about his uh, determination to be the best. Can't do it. So we challenge you, each and every one of you, to do better than LaShawn. Because he's done great things for Wilson. He's done great things for LaShawn. He's done a lot of great things for the United States of America. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank LaShawn for having that opportunity to work with him. His family has been great. Uh, just for the record, forgot to mention this, LaShawn could have went to any university in the country to run track, any. Everybody can't do that. I'm saying what well, we tell my kids each and every day, we have a blueprint. The blueprint takes us where we want to go. It tells you how to get there. They got side stops and any other stops, but it keeps you on track. But Sean knew where he wanted to go. He followed that blueprint, and that blueprint has taken him where he wants to go. And what I leave with you is that each and every one of you have a choice. You have a choice to do what you want to do or what you have to do. Deshaun has done what he wants to do. So be like Deshaun, do the right thing. Say thank you, Coach Cole, for giving me the opportunity. All right, I have to give my thanks to LaShawn for listening. Right. For being the best student athlete that I would come across. Okay? Not only was an A student, first on the field of practice, last to leave. Okay? That's the type of character this young man has. Alright? The type of dedication he has. Okay? I'd like to thank Ms. Wells Garris for giving me the opportunity to coach here at Wilson also, all right? Couple stories about LaShawn that y'all don't know. This guy here, I've been with him up and down the East Coast, from New York to Florida sometimes, going around talking to kids, and they see the respect that these kids see with him. They give him, he come up, and he had his shirt, shirt pants tucked in his, shirt tucked in his pants, you see all the little kids in the audience stand up and tuck their pants in also because they want to be like a Sean Mack. <laughs> For these young kids around here, okay? Now I've seen them go to Quantico, visit the Marine base, talk to some to Marines who just came back to Afghanistan, you know, uh, preaching positive words to them, praising them about, you know, how they defend a country that allowed him to go around the whole world and feel safe to travel and run these, these track meets. That's a Sean Merrick, okay? This guy here, I tell you, I can tell you a couple of stories. And I'm gonna tell you, here's here, here the real deal. Coach Cole had to beg Brenda for him to play football. <laughs> That's just plain and simple. 
<laughs> and once we got him out there, she said, look, I don't care what y'all do, but long as y'all send my baby like he come back the same right here, as long as he got his legs and arms attached, everything is fine. I'm like, cool. I'm in the first day we got him in the weight room. Lord, how mercy. <laughs> 135 pounds now. Lim, you was there. 135 pounds. He couldn't lift. I thought, oh, Lord, Brenda don't kill him. <laughs> you know, but that's the type of guy he is. You know, from Maine to Spain, Baltimore to Mexico, ain't a better guy in this world than a Sean Murray. And he represents the school, this city, at the high. And don't y'all forget, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to leave y'all with this, student. All right? There's no one in this building, in this school, is here to harm you, okay? So listen to your teachers, listen to your coaches, and respect them. Listen to elders, whatever they tell you to do, respect, okay? That's what I leave y'all with. Thank you, and have a good day. All right, good afternoon again. My name is um, Walt Green, and I with North for Real Deal AAU Track Club. First of all, I'd like to thank the city of Portsmouth for do, having this great event for a great person. And it's a very small world because y'all principal, Mr. Johnson, we grew up together two blocks in Norfolk. And um, the athletic, city athletic director, Coach Pugh, we've been working together for over 25 years. So it's a very small world. LaShawn started running with us after his junior year. In high school, I mean, he was already a state champion. He was already an All-American. But most of all, he was already a great person, thanks to Brenda and Owen. He was a very great person. Yes, sir, no, sir. Very respectful type of person. Also, the biggest thing that um, LaShawn got out of running with our track club was our head coach. His name is Dwayne Miller. Dwayne Miller, he was, like I said, LaShawn was already good, thanks to Coach Coles and Coach Bynum. But Dwayne was the summer coach, and he took LaShawn to California to this running camp. Also, he ensured that he got in every meet. And additionally, Dwayne was his coach when he won his first gold medal in 2008. Unfortunately, Dwayne could not make it. He now coaches in Qatar in the Middle East, and they just finished with their Asian championships. And he sure tried to make it. He, didn't, he wasn't sure until last night that he was not going to be able to make it because of the time changes. He could not have gotten here any earlier than 4 o'clock. But th that was his mentor. But I'm going to talk about LaShawn in a different light. Now, we already know he the gold medals and those great things. But LaShawn has done an exceptional amount for the community and for the youths and not just here in Portsmouth. First of all, to support our track team, we used to play bingo over here at um, Tower Auditorium, about a mile from here, and LaShawn used to volunteer twice a week on Tuesdays when he got out of school and he used to uh, volunteer Wednesday night. He did this his junior year and his senior year in order so that we could raise money for our track team so that we could travel. And we were dealing with a whole lot of um, people in the bingo hall and they loved him. His, um, dealing with also with a lot of money. LaShawn's money never came up short. He was very respectful to the customers. He's just an overall great person. Additionally, LaShawn, right after he won his gold medal in 2008, he was literally off the hook as far as going around speaking to youths everywhere. I will open the Virginia Palace, see he spoke to this school. Open the Journal of Guys, see he's been in this rec center. Open the Daily Press, he's over in Newport News doing something. I'm like, where isn't LaShawn? <laughs> so anyway, we have people from North Carolina that come to our bingo game. They used to come to our bingo games and from a husky close by. And two years before LaShawn won his gold medal, he went to talk to some kids in a husky, North Carolina. So little Sean went in there, um, gave him a nice speech, and told the kids, I'm going to come back here. Next time y'all see me, I'm going to have me a gold medal, and I'm going to share with y'all. Now, mind you, this is before he's number one in the world and all that, LaShawn Murray, as we know him. And lo and behold, I will never forget, I was in the bingo hall. This lady walked up and said, Walt, I'm going to show you something. She showed me this article 
from the, whatever the paper is they have in the Husky. LaShawn on the front page, it says, a man that keeps his promise. LaShawn had gone back there. LaShawn had gone back there and shared those gold medals with those kids. Um, them kids were beaming. So most of all, we know there's a lot of things going on in society today. And I'm looking forward to when LaShawn retires and he come back to this area because he has a whole lot much more to offer than his track and field skills and ability. And in closing, just like Coach Pugh said, we know track is pretty much only popular every fourth year when there is an Olympics. However, LaShawn has been professional 12 years, one of the most consistent runners ever in the 400 meter, and I'm definitely in my top three. Yes, I'm a little biased, but you can um, pose some experts, and I'm sure they will agree he's one of the top three all time. And he still has a few more good years left for him, including one more Olympic. So this is not no farewell party. <laughs> And um, we're looking forward to seeing you continue to do great things. Thank you very much, and God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, the song there. stay up the street and it's all love and family around and you don't get that anywhere. You don't get that anywhere. So I just want to thank everyone for being here today. Um, they've told a lot of stories about me. Uh, a lot of people in here already know me. A lot of people, uh, it may be your first time uh, meeting me or seeing me. Um, but a lot of it is true. Um, there's a lot of people here who play a big part in my success today. From my family, to my coaches, to my uh, principals, uh, athletic directors, uh, school board members. And I couldn't have did it without the home support. You know, I, I travel all around the world, but when I come home, home is home. And I love it here. Um, I, I see that it's some, some people who attend the school here, and to be from this area, uh, I know especially when I was growing up, there was a lot of people who felt like they couldn't do certain things, you know, just because of where you're from. Oh, you can't do this. Sometimes the, the girls in Virginia Beach wouldn't even talk to me because I was so close to just keep it real. <laughs> which was always weird to me. <laughs> um, but you're, you're in an area, you're in a school, you're in an environment where there's a lot of history that came from you. You know, I sat in these seats. You had a lot of people who grew up with me who had amazing talent. But one of my coaches said, I was an athlete who listened. You know, there's a lot of talent, but the ones who listen, the athletes who are actually coachable, are the ones who succeed in whatever they want to do, whether it be sports or in life, because you have this characteristic about you that you're able to listen. So pay attention and listen. You know, you're at an age now, the world is the world is crazy right now. You know, so pay attention, listen to your teachers, listen to your principal, because they've been where you are. I know people, you've probably heard this many times, but They've been where you are, and they want the best for you. I'm looking at this group right here. You know, they, they really want the best for you. 
and whatever you want to do, you can do. You know, that's nice. That's one of those sayings again, one of those things where people just feel like people just say that. Whatever you do, whatever you want to do, you can do, or hard work pays off, or if you're dedicated to something, you'll be successful. It's true. It's true. And dreaming is true. If you have a dream, turn your dream into reality, but you have to work. I feel like my life has been constant work. And I, it's other people in, in, in certain areas uh, that have certain careers where they also work in their field. But for me, it's, it's, it's work, it's mental work, it's physical work, it's diet, it's traveling, it's uh, staying dedicated, not letting certain people into my home, into my life, because that's a lot of negativity out here right now. It's a lot. It's a lot. And it's hard to get out of trouble. But it's easy to get into. It's so, it's so easy to get in trouble. I, I see it every day. You know, and I'm blessed to have had the mentors along the way. Um, some who were in my life on a regular basis and some who, whenever they saw me, they just had positive words for me, you know, as an adult and as my elder to let me know, hey, stay on the right track, you know, because you're on the way to something great. And I listen. So that's when listening gets you. Um, and I'm thankful. I'm so thankful for it. Um, but yeah, today is, a, today is a day where I'm back home. Um, I love it here. I remember being here, sitting in this little theater years ago, and sitting up here, and also being up here playing in the band. So I've had some, some great memories of this little theater. I remember um, it was probably my freshman year when Missy came back here. Uh, that was cool. That was cool. And I also had a, a brother who was five years older than me who went to school here uh, before I did. So there's a lot of memories and, and history and just within my family in this theater. Um, so I'm just grateful to be back home. Uh, they said they had something for me outside of the wall, so I'm, I'm excited to see that. That should be cool. Uh, yeah, that should be cool. Uh, I'm excited about that. Um, but I have, like uh, Coach Green said, I have more years than I think. No, 30 years old. I'm 30 years old and I've been blessed to be able to do what I do on the highest level ever since I was 18 years old. You know, and that takes a lot of, of dedication, a lot of dedication, a lot of focus, um, a lot of learning. You know, I'm still learning what I what I do today, and I'm still trying to master this this event. It's hard, but I've always said someone has to do it. You know, I get to these biggest stages where everyone's watching in the world, and it really, really matters. And then there's a kid from Portsmouth, uh, and the whole world is watching. And in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, there's a lot of people who have helped me to get to this point. There's a lot of people who are praying for me right now. There's a lot of people who um, who I love that I want to do this for. And then I think, and I'm from Portsmouth, and I'm right here, so why not go out here and give it all I have? Yeah. That, really, that really goes on in my head. I, I think, man, I would love it. Early on in my career, I used to think, like, what a, like, why am I here? There's a lot of people who think that too, these individual events uh, in my sport. It's like, why am I here? But you know you've worked to get there, but now you're here. If you're here, you might as well uh, show up and show out. That's what I have to say. I have one more, one more memory about when I was here, I remember winning these these uh, track meets and everything, and it was always in the newspaper. But there were two librarians who 
the plaster of this wall. I don't know which wing this is right here, but if you walked in this wing, there's a, a glass wall where the library is. And I remember each year the whole wall was full of articles uh, <laughs> from every week, sometimes twice a week. And I thought that was cool. <laughs> I thought that was cool. I enjoyed that. And I remember when I came back, um, after I graduated, I didn't see those uh, articles on the wall. I was like, yeah. I, said, I guess it's time to be grown now. But uh, I enjoyed it. I had some great memories here. But overall, I just want to say thank you. I'll continue to do um, what I do for you all and continue to dedicate myself to a sport and a craft and a, and a career where I know it's not only about myself. You know, I know that, like I said, people have worked hard to get me to where I am, so I don't do it for myself. I do it for you all. I do it for my brother who's passed away, who's not here to do anything physically right now. So I feel like I've, I've been blessed and I'll continue to uh, work hard continue to try to inspire the next generation because that's that's really what it's all about. Uh, because we all will leave this earth one day, you know, and it's about the people you touch and the, the, the legacy you leave behind and just your character. That's what people remind you, uh, remember you of. So I just want to say thank you and you all just have a great day. It's nice to see you. And being a former track athlete in college, I know a little bit about track and field. Not as much <laughs> as LaShawn. My times don't even equal to what he was doing in high school, so I give him his props, definitely. But, but I'm a lover of track. I always watch the track meets during the summer, even in the course during the Olympic year. And I followed him. So I knew one of the things that I was excited about when I was coming to Portsmouth is that, hey, I'm gonna see a lot of things about LaShawn Mayer here. But guess what? I didn't. So one of the things that I was tasked with and I had talked with my school board, I said, you know what? I said, you know, I'm a lover of track. And I know Mr. Perry, Mr. Bridge, and I had this conversation. It's like, we definitely need to do something. He's won the Olympics, several medals. I said, now, there's another one coming up. So the way we will time this is after he wins the next Olympic gold medals, we will time it just right. I mean, now listen to what I said. I didn't hesitate. I knew he was gonna win Olympic gold again. So everything fell into place. Started having conversations with Dr. Patton. She talked with city council, mayor. So everybody jumped on board. So we wanted to make sure that, that this took place. I had the opportunity to meet LaShawn about a year ago, and we started talking about some of the things then and of what we would like to see and what we want to put in place. So I, I, I'm sure that what he'll see today and the family, you all will be very much appreciative of it. But as I close and before we go out and Mrs. Williams, our vice chair comes up, one of the things I want to share with the students as well, something that you don't realize is that now we're all, we all love basketball, baseball, football in the USA. And that gets a lot of attention. Track and field, it comes and it goes. But now let, let me break it down to you, to what this guy, who this guy really is. Now, if you go overseas, where track and field is very, very positive. LaShawn Merritt is the equivalent of some of your favorite stars in basketball. Le LeBron James, Steph Curry, or one of my favorites, Michael Jordan. I'm gonna date myself, I'm a Jordan guy. So, 
So if you go overseas and you talk about USA, you talk about trash, the first name that comes to mind is LaShawn Merritt. So know who you're looking at today. And as he said, let's all be proud to say that, hey, he came from Portsmouth. Woodrow Wilson High School. And LaShawn, we want to let you know how much we appreciate you and what you've done. And Mrs. Williams, if you will come forward and say a few words and then we'll all walk out to the unveiling. But thank you for giving me the opportunity to be part of this. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you Dr. Bracey. And again, words matter. And all the words spoken today really matter and tell us exactly who LaShawn Merritt is. Yes. He is a native of Portsmouth, our native son. He's made us Portsmouth proud. I am just so happy to be standing on the stage with him. Yes. I watched the Olympics, and you know we were cheering you right on. So we are happy, and, and for the moment that we've all been waiting for, we want you to join us as we do the unveiling of the wall. Again, thank you, LaShawn, for making us Portsmouth proud. the LaShawn Merritt Wall at Woodrow Wilson High School was just the start of the celebration. At 5.30, the LaShawn Merritt Day Parade made its way down High Street with LaShawn as the Grand Marshal. ended at the I.C. Norcom High School Stadium for the football game between LaShawn Merritt's Woodrow Wilson High School president and the I.C. Norcom Greyhounds. <laughs> and for the day's finale, at halftime, Mayor Kenneth I. Wright presented LaShawn with a proclamation and a key to the city. It is indeed a 
real pleasure and an honor to be here this evening to present not only a proclamation to LaShawn Merritt for his outstanding accomplishments, but we also have the key to the city that we want to present to him. So at this time, uh, LaShawn, if you would join and get between myself and Dr. Whitaker. This proclamation reads as follows. Now, LaShawn, we've had an outstanding day, and we started out with the intent of naming this your day. Okay. Council has met, and we're going to name this your week. So, from September the 30th to October the 7th, from now and forevermore, will be known in the city of Portsmouth as LaShawn Marriage Week. Now, LaShawn and I share um, something in common. We're both presidents. We're both proud presidents. And we have joining us here uh, Dr. Whitaker. He was a, a Mustang from okay. Manor High School. <laughs> Any Mustangs here? All right. Well, LaShawn and I took your school. Uh, okay, this proclamation reads as follows. Whereas a great city is only as great as those individuals who perform exemplary service on behalf of their community through unique achievements and professional endeavors. It is a tremendous honor to recognize and celebrate the accomplishments of a treasured citizen. Four-time Olympic medalist and 11-time World Championship medalist, LaShawn Murray. And whereas... Portsmouth native LaShawn Murd is a 2004 graduate of Woodrow Wilson High School, where he, that's right, <laughs> where he became the third Virginia male athlete in history to record a first place finish in the 100 meter, the 200 meter, and the 400 meter at the Virginia State Group AAA High School championships. That's right. Give it up. He also, he also, there's more, he also set world junior championship records in 2004 that still stand today. He went on to attend East Carolina University, but after one indoor season, he turned professional at the age of 18. And whereas this 11-time world championship medalist has won eight gold medals and three silver medals between 2005 and 2015. And he holds the fastest 200 meter time in the world, clocking in at 19.74 seconds for 2016. And whereas he made his Olympic debut in 2008 in Beijing, China, where he won two gold medals, one in the 400 meter and another in the four by 400 meter. And the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, he won a bronze medal in the 400 meter and gold as anchor in the four by 400 meter. <laughs> he been running, that's right. And we're near the end. Uh, and whereas LaShawn has earned the respect and admiration of people from all walks of life and all ages, and we are extremely proud of these accomplishments and the sense of pride that he has given our community. Now, therefore, I, Kenneth I. Mike, the mayor of the city of Portsmouth, Virginia, do hereby proclaim September the 30th through October the 7th, 2016, as 
as four-time Olympic medalist LaShawn Merritt Week in the city of Portsmouth. And I do hereby deem it an honor and a pleasure on this grand occasion to extend a sincere congratulations and best wishes for many more happy, productive years in the future. And witness whereof, and on behalf of the Portsmouth City Council, I have her to set my hand and cause the seal of Portsmouth, Virginia to be affixed to this 30th day of September, 2016. Signed, Kenneth I. Wright, Mayor. LaShawn, congratulations, and we are proud of you. Now, before we let LaShawn speak, I'm going to turn the mic over to Dr. Whitaker, who is going to present our first key to the city, to this great citizen. Dr. Whitaker. Let's give LaShawn a hand clap of praise. Thank you, sir. LaShawn, it is my distinct privilege and pleasure to present this first key to the city on the behalf of our great mayor, Kenneth Wright and members of the Portsmouth City Council. I don't know what door this will open, but please know that your dedication, your steadfastness, and your efforts have opened up the hearts of so many in Portsmouth to embrace what aspirations will do. Congratulations. Yeah, give it a... All right, big speech. Uh-oh. I'll call him. <laughs> What's up, What's up <laughs> I want to thank uh, Mayor Wright, City, City Council, Council uh, Portsmouth Public, Public School Board, Board for having me here today. today. Uh, uh, I'm home. I love to be here. here. The North and Wilson game. game. Uh, what, what else game would I have to? to? <laughs> <laughs> Of course, here. Here. I, I, thank I thank you all, all for, for the parade up at Wilson today. They, they, they had something for me, so I have a lot on the wall at Wilson and I'm happy about, about that. that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it looks good. good. It looks good. good. And, uh, and uh, I, I, really I really do what, what I do just to inspire the people who dream big and dream, and dream to, do to do something one day, day. To, do to do something at the highest, highest level. level. You know, you know that's, that's what I've been doing for the past few years. years. I've, I've been running, running all over the world, world letting everyone, everyone know how, how we, we do, do it, it in Portsmouth, Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. You know, I, I, I know it's not a lot that goes on here, here but, but I want everyone to know that around the world, you have, you have someone, someone from, from the same, same street, street you drive, drive the, the same, same classrooms you, you set in, representing you to the to best of my ability. ability. The best, the best way, way I can. I need it all on track every day for Portsmouth, for, for the people who pray for me, for the people who love me, the people I, I, I grew up with, to the point that every time I cross the finish line, I always make sure I go up with the VA. Because I love it here. Uh, there's, there's a lot, a lot of, students of students here. I want you to know that I'm a living testimony of what you can be. You know, what, what, what hard work, what dreaming, what keeping positive people around you will get you. You know, it's all about just staying focused, staying dedicated. It doesn't matter where you're from. You know, it's the work you put on, how hard you want it, and believing in this really achieving. So I just want to say thank you, and I'll see y'all later. All right. Before we end this ceremony, I want mom and dad to please join us here. This has been a great occasion and none of this happens without great parenting and family. And when we came out on the field, the first thing that Sean said is, Mayor, I want my family out here. And the mayor made it happen. So let's give his mother and father a great round of applause. Team Merrick for the great work and support they've done for this outstanding young man. Thank y'all and God bless you. Thank you.